Dear students, in this video, I am going to explain you about apoptosis, programmed cell death or cell suicide, programmed removal of non-functional, abnormal or aged cells from the body. In this cartoon, you may see that, so this is, uh, the cell is saying, it is uh, programmed death means I have to go. Once uh, apoptotic signal is turned on in the cell, the cell, nobody can stop the cell from dying. So, apoptosis is a genetically programmed cell death where an aged cell shrinks and get phagocytosed without any inflammatory reaction. This is different from the inflammation or the necrosis where you can see there is a, a you can see the, that also leading to cell death it is different how it is different we'll go we are we are going to see that apoptosis consists of series of biochemical and morphological changes occurs in the uh, cell leading to the cell towards the death it's a normal process in a normal adult to human being 50 to 70 billion cells undergo apoptosis every day. The rate of cell growth and cell death is balanced to maintain the weight of the body. And it is a pathophysiological process essential for normal growth and development. So it is very important the, there has to be proper balance between the surviving cell and the dying cell in the body to maintain the normal balance. So, apoptosis is a normal process of elimination of unwanted cells to regulate an appropriate number of cells in the tissues. So, the tissue balance by uh, the inducing the apoptosis in uh, aged cells, unwanted cells, uh, cells functioning uh, uh, abnormally, all this, you know. So, this is how tissue, organ and the body may uh, regulate the, the proper balance through the by, uh, you know, apoptosis process. The term apoptosis was first introduced in 1972 by Kerr, Willey and Curie to describe the distinct type of cell death. So, to distinguish uh, from the, so the necrosis or inflammation, they have, uh, you know, coined the term apoptosis. So, this is apoptosis is a programmed cell death. Necrosis is a, whenever there is a, a tissue injury, the injured cells going to die. So, that to differentiate, they have coined this word apoptosis. In uh, 2002, Nobel Prize in uh, Medicine uh, for the discoveries of genetic regulation of programmed cell death in the nematode uh, uh, Sinorhabditis elegans, C. elegans, and showed similar genes existed in higher species, including man. So, Nobel laureates. Sidney Brenner and uh, then uh, uh, Robert Harvis. So, Sidney Brenner from the Sark Institute, uh, then uh, Herbert, uh, uh, Robert Harvis from the uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, then John Sulston from Wellcome Trust. They have awarded Nobel Prize for the discovery concerning the genetic regulation of organ development and programmed cell death. Uh, uh, they, uh, you know, their discovery in uh, this uh, nematode, it is a 1 millimeter size nematode, nematode similar to you, what you have studied around worms. They, this is a free living worm. Uh, you will find in the soil in the water. So, Sinorhabditis elegans, they discovered this uh, apoptosis uh, genes, the genes regulation in apoptosis in uh, uh, during development of uh, Sinorhabditis elegans. They then uh, similar genes are pr present in other animals also including man. So, this uh, what is the, these, uh, the importance of this uh, 
you know it they balance the uh, you can see the 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 apoptosis or defective death and also the excessive death so you can see there is a, a you can see the the if there is no apoptosis that is leading to cancer if there is excessive apoptosis uh, that also leading to pathological conditions you can see the huntington disease and uh, in the case of aids the the hiv is doing the same thing so you can see there is a proper homeostasis is uh, uh, important this is what the uh, you can see the nobel prize winning discovery of these scientists in uh, so apoptosis or programmed cell death is a normal cell suicide process in response to cell signals so apoptosis is mediated by protein digesting enzymes called caspases there is a, a group of enzymes or proteases called caspases they are present in the cytosol or the cytoplasm in the form of inactive form form pro caspases these Cas pro caspases get activated and become activated one uh, uh, when the cell plans are signaled for its self destruction cell death is characterized by shrinking of the cell and and its nucleus and destruction of the chromatin by the enzyme endonucleases so there is a it's a, a, a regulated event there are many reactions that takes place it is mainly it is the activation of a group of enzymes called caspases so they are uh, uh, taking the cell towards the the you know the death so these uh, caspases are signaled when so the cell um, uh, you know programmed uh, cell uh, moving towards the death so during the cell death there is a blebbing of the cell surface you will find there is a blebbing you know these are the blebs the outgrowths you can see these outgrowths containing fragmented cellular fragments or cytosolic fragmented uh, uh, fragments are present they then later they get released you know see this so when they get released they immediately engulfed by the macrophage macrophage is not type of wbc when it is uh, the monocytes get uh, activated they will become macrophage they are phagocytic cells these get phagocytized they these macrophage they eat the cells these fragments and they destroy this so this is what you can see the process of apoptosis in detail the what are the morphological changes uh, during programmed cell death so the dying cells the there is a you can see the shrinkage the size Uh, uh, you know the the cell will uh, undergo so shrinkage then nuclear shrink shrinkage nucleus shrinkage fragmentation takes place then there will be a plasma membrane blebbing this is what you have seen uh, in this uh, this is the blebbing you know the plasma membrane uh, uh, blebbing will takes place then so there is a uh, they get released into membrane bound apoptotic bodies they get uh, then released into apoptotic bodies and these apoptotic bodies when they released in immediately they get engulfed by this macrophage this is a macrophage uh, it engulf it and phagocytes it fragment it uh, the cell bodies or digest the the cell bodies this is the process of apoptosis the what are the biochemical changes you find in during uh, apoptosis there will be the chromosomal fragmentation dna fragmentation will takes place then there is a appearance of a, a uh, you can see a uh, phosphatidyl serine uh, it is uh, will be displayed on the surface of this apoptotic body this is what you can see blue color one so this is a, the display of phosphatidyl serine on the surface of this uh, apoptotic body that will be recognized by the phagocyte or macrophage so then there is a alteration of inner mitochondrial membrane potential so mitochondrial membrane potential potential get uh, altered and uh, the release of that uh, brings the release of cytochrome c from the the inner membrane surface to the cytoplasm 
so all these biochemical changes leading to the the morphological changes of apoptosis so these are the apoptosis pathway the apoptosis is induced through two pathways intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway whenever there is a dna damage then accumulation of misfolded proteins then the, when there when there is a cellular stress endoplasmic reticular stress all these you can see so this this is uh, uh, leading to intrinsic pathway then it is leading to the leakage of pro apoptotic proteins from the mitochondrial membrane into the cytoplasm so that is what you can see the cytochrome c then it trigger the caspase activity pro, pro caspase is activated into the caspases active caspases in the cell and uh, then you can see it inhibit the the anti apoptotic uh, protein bcl2 then apoptosis is uh, you know it is uh, signaled and uh, then uh, the cell is going to be fragmented in the form of apoptotic bodies so this is intrinsic pathway whenever the cell uh, uh, you know um, uh, come across uh, uh, the accident uh, the dna damage uh, uh, beyond repair then uh, there is lot of uh, uh, accumulation of misfolded proteins then there is a the apoptotic signals uh, signaling takes place so then p53 gene is uh, activated and uh, you, the p53 product leading to apoptosis then what is the extrinsic pathway when the the it signals the molecules known as ligands so the there is a there is a too much damage that causing by the x rays heat hormones uh, growth excessive growth factors then all these you can see then there is a nutrient loss you know there is uh, the cell is has to so, uh, in, in during the cell cycle the uh, transition from g1 to s phase when there is a nutrient loss so then you can see then uh, the cell uh, you know um, you know there will be a uh, wait for the chance of repair when there is no repair then you can see apoptosis will be triggered these are the extrinsic pathway so that you can see there is a, a ligand a tnf alpha tumor necrosis factor or fas all these going to bind on the the death receptors those are present on the cell surface and that is the signaling the uh, you know the it uh, blocks the the apopt anti apoptotic uh, path uh, you know the proteins bcl2 and uh, uh, the death signaling leading to the apoptosis and you this is what you can see intern extrinsic pathway so both the pathways uh, uh, you know uh, leading to the apoptosis what are the significances of this apoptosis is a very essential process uh, active process maintains tissue homeostasis eliminate harmful cells aged cells so that's how the what are the cancer cells produced in the body get eliminated every day through this apoptosis during apoptosis intracellular contents are not released to extracellular spaces that is what you can see it is immediately engulfed so that neighboring cells are not affected by this process apoptosis apoptosis pathway is highly regulated in multicellular organisms important for embryonic development so it is uh, uh, and maintenance of uh, normal cell number and its composition apoptosis occurs in cells infected with the viruses cells those are cancerous and uh, cells those are having defective unrepairable dna all these uh, cells are undergoing apoptosis thereby the damage uh, occurred in the cell is not going to be uh, you know uh, transferred to the the daughter cells apoptosis is an essential part of immune system as it clears the pathogen specific immune cells so that's virus containing cells cancerous cells all these foreign the cells containing foreign particles all these are get degraded through this uh, it's a immune mechanism so the immune cells that may might react against the body all these you know auto that that may cause autoimmune disease all these are removed from the body through this process that's why it's a very important process apoptosis occurs many developmental process during digit formation 
you know the finger formation sexual organ development then uh, gamete formation all this uh, process apoptosis is observed the develop you know the gamete formation you know, how the the sperm is produced so it is uh, 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 you can see the development of nervous system apoptosis is observed from the 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 point when you know very uh, you know during the development neural tube formation up to the final neuronal network formation all these process so you can see the process of apoptosis is there then uh, hiv hu human immunodeficiency virus kills the infective immune cells by uh, activating apoptotic pathway so that uh, the it weakens the host immunity so these are all uh, the significances of uh, apoptosis so apoptosis have a greater role to play in the development the embryonic development i have said already so during normal development some cells die and uh, replaced by the new ones it eliminate the unwanted organs and tissues during development uh, larval stages you can see in the case of uh, uh, tadpole so this tail is uh, it is through the apoptosis it get uh, uh, you know degraded and uh, uh, leading to the adult stage where the tailless uh, anura or you can see the frog uh, tadpole tail is removed by apoptosis at the time of metamorphosis into a frog similarly you can see this is the 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 hand bud or limb bud so the sculpting of sculpting of limb bud formation of limb bud so the unwanted tissues those are present in between these fingers are removed during the vertebrate limb development in the absence of this leading to the you can see the the joint fingers you can see syndactyly this is an abnormality you will find there is a the the fingers are not separated so this is called syndactyly in the absence of apoptosis so what is the the you know the uh, the relationship between cancer and apoptosis so because uh, uh, i am telling this uh, the dealing this apoptosis uh, topic in the cancer biology cancer may arise from the dysfunction in the apoptotic pathway common cause for tumorigenesis is mutation of p53 gene it is a the geno the guardian of the genome as i said earlier besides regulating apoptosis p53 is also regulate the checkpoints in the cell cycle dna repair senescence genomic integrity so it has got many function you may just see in this cartoon so it has many function one one is it is uh, uh, leading to the apoptotic signal when the all these uh, repair process is going to fail so uh, so this is what you can see the the apoptosis very important to to remove the, the uh, you know the the cells functioning abnormally so another important factor in tumorigenesis is the balance between the pro apoptotic and anti apoptotic members of the genes when the cell is loose this uh, you know regulate the apoptosis then leading to tumorigenesis so whenever there is a so many dna damage and you can see the uh, you can see the oxidative stress uh, or um, uh, metabolic stress and all these you know the p53 try to repair when there is no i mean it cannot repair then apoptotic uh, pathway is signaled and apoptosis will take place when there is a, a you know there is a mutation in p53 so then you can see the the leading to the cancer so 50% of cancer in the human because of the mutation in p53 so it is uh, when it is cannot bring the apoptosis it is uh, leading to the the cancer so that's uh, the term apoptosis is the greek word it is refers to dropping off you know during this is the winter season drop the falling of the leaves from the tree that's the the literal meaning so thank you